Hey guys, and welcome back to Dark Feed from inside my new TARDIS. The TARDIS can take me anywhere in time and space. Right now, I'm heading back to the year 1963 to recover some important documents. Unfortunately, I can't drive the TARDIS and do the show at the same time. So Ibo will be flying the TARDIS while I do the show. Moving on to the first news story. The iPad 3, yes, I know you probably just bought your iPad 2, well, anyway, it's going to be revealed on March 7th at an event in San Francisco, and I'm sure it's going to have a ton of new features, like it's just going to make your iPad 2 look so inferior, whatever. Do they really have to make another one of these every single year? Moving right along because the iPad isn't really video game related. Some Final Fantasy XIII 2 DLC came out, and it's called Saw's Heads or Tails. It details what Saw's was up to during the main storyline of XIII 2. This DLC adds Saw's to your party and two new card games in the casino. Woot. Moving right along, there's a rumor going around that Kingdom Hearts 3D Dream Drop Distance is to have a western release in July. Apparently on the Square Enix online store, the French version was accidentally posted as having a release date of July 27th, 2012. Soon after, it was changed to Summer 2012. Alright, let me think. North America always gets it first, so if the UK version is released on the 27th, according to the rumor, then that means that people here in North America would probably receive it on the 24th of July you heard it here first people do you like toys I like toys toys are fun valve likes toys too and they're teaming up with NECA toys to produce a line of replicas and action figures from games like portal TF2 left for dead half-life 2 you know all the good ones along with this lineup they are releasing a life-size replica of the portal gun and it has blue and orange lights in it. It'll probably have sound effects and whatnot too. I think that's pretty cool and I'm probably gonna pick one up. For all you Pocket Monster fans out there, Pokemon Black and White version 2 is to have a release sometime this fall for North America. Mind you, it will be on the DS and not the 3DS. So yes, it will still be in 2D. It features two new legendary Pokemon by the names of Black Kyurem and White Kyurem? I don't know, I haven't followed Pokemon since the 90s. Alright, alright, this is our last bit of news, but it's very important. The game retail stores, along with GameStation and their online counterparts, will not, will not be stocking Mass Effect 3 due to supply issues. Game also had exclusive rights to the Mass Effect 3 Collector's Edition, but now the Collector's Edition is being stocked by other retailers. If you pre-ordered a copy of the Collector's Edition from Game, you'll be able to pick it up on Amazon.co.uk as well as other retailers such as Play, Zavi, or Shop2. That'll wrap up the news for this week, folks. So we'll move on to the question of the week segment. Last week I asked you if you felt it was time for the next generation of consoles, or do you feel that the current generation still has plenty of life left in it? Jay Bummy, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, said, Like you, Mr. Kingdom. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. Mr. Kingdom was my father. Please, call me Dark Sky. I'm not overly concerned with graphics either. I think there's plenty of life left in the current systems. Developers are getting really good at making games for them. I'm not ready slash can't really afford new hardware. I'd like to see innovation in the form of more new and varied IP. Varnus said, Yeah, the next generation doesn't interest me one bit. I mean, some of the best games that I've played were on the PS2. The PS3, not so much. We don't need more graphics. If anything, 
just let the game developers make more interesting games on the current gen consoles and don't make them look pretty. Cool Sun H gave me an entire freaking essay on why we are not ready to have the next generation. I'll let you guys read that one on your own. Thanks everybody who commented on last week's question. This week's question is, if you had a TARDIS, when and where would you go and why? If you don't know what a TARDIS is, you're probably not British. Google it. Destination reached. Begin landing procedure. Gotta go for now, guys. Be sure to follow me on the Twitters, at GUDarkFeed, and don't forget to leave a comment below. See you next week, guys. Ibo, land this thing.